All right, guys, moment you've been waiting for, or at least I have. The rotisserie is done. So, give you a quick overview here. Bought some casters from Harbor Freight. I think they were like 12 bucks a piece or something like that. And then two engine stands. And as you can see, the bottom here is the engine stand. Welded on some drill pipe that I got from taking down a fence. Took part of the engine stand. Made this brace, cut a hole in it, put the pipe through, welded it around there. Don't mind my shitty welds. Some of them look better than others. But uh, I took my time on uh, the welds that were more structural. With the exception of this in here, it looks like absolute bird shit. But it holds. So I've got some pins that can go through here to hold it straight but it's actually balanced so the bottom is a little bit heavy so it, it takes a little bit of effort to spin it up as you can see I've got some 3 inch tube, 2 inch tube square this uh, slides up and down and I've got a bolt through there so I could uh, figure out where I needed to balance it this was actually upside down if you can tell from the side these angle down they were angled up, so I had to end up cutting that tube off the that top to get it more balanced because it was way bottom heavy when I first attached it. So I cut that off and um, moved that down pretty much as far as I could go there. Front pretty much the same. Got the engine stand at the bottom. Some other pieces of the engine stand that come to the subframe. Same setup here. And then I just got a leverage bar here. And uh, all in all, it works. Came together just fine. And uh, probably spent, I don't know, maybe $75 total. Not counting consumables, which uh, is a far cry from a thousand to buy one of these new. So I don't really care that uh, it's ugly. Some of the welds are really bad, but where it counts, they're pretty solid so I'm not too concerned about it I did weld up some extra braces on this piece um, yeah looks good so let's see how it works all right so here it is and uh, basically just uh, swivel it back and forth and as you can see with just a, a one hand I can well two hands mm -hmm. I can get it up the side and it's fairly balanced. It's not swinging back down. Um, that'll make it a lot easier. I'm going to mini tub it so I don't have to lay on my back cutting and stuff. Then one other thing that I'm going to do is, as I said, I've got these pins to put in here. I only have four holes, so it can only go flat and vertical for both sides. So what I'm going to do, um, kind of got the idea from I think it was Wyatt Winnabel, I, I can't remember. But I'm gonna weld, I think a brake disc on here, circular, drill holes, multiple positions, and then put two pieces right here with holes drilled through them, so I can just put a rod through it. And that way when it hits that hole, I can line it up and stop it at a lot more different angles. But it's uh, holding steady, I can move the car around, it's on caster so I can roll around. One thing I might do is from this down here, I'm going to put a solid bar going all the way to the other one. Um, mainly just to keep it from tilting in and, and dropping down that way, but um, that's really only needed if I'm moving it around. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, make cool shit.